this is my little explainer, mostly for myself, on why adjacency matrix powers tell you the number of paths of that length between any two given nodes. Like, okay, wait. So let me let me just explain this. Okay, so so quick refresh just in case. So an adjacency matrix is this guy. It's when you take a little graph like this, right? And then you turn it into a matrix like this, where each row, right? Each The intersection of each row and column is telling you if those two nodes are connected to each other. So you can read it two ways, where either you, you're treating the columns as, like this is the node number, and each like uh, or sorry uh, the row is the node uh, the node number and each column is whether or not that node is connected to the node corresponding to that column right so is and and this graph in this graph we're assuming there's no self loops so like node 1 isn't connected to itself right so is node 1 connected to itself no is node 1 connected to node 2 no is node 1 connected to node 3 yes and is it connected to node four? No, right? So we're looking at this like little sort of tree graph where every node is connected to node three and conversely, node three is connected to every other node, right? But none of the other nodes, one, two, and four aren't connected to each other at all except through three, right? Or you can you can read it the other way where you treat the columns as the, the nodes and then, um, you know, the rows represent, you know, whether or not they're connected to that respective node. So you can read it either way because it's a it's a non-directed graph, right? So it's sort of symmetrical. Um, every linkage is represented twice, right? If three is if three is connected to two, then obviously two is connected to three, right? So they they sort of um, repeat themselves in that way. So we're looking at the idea though of why when you take like let's call this matrix like A, right? Let's call this A. Then A times A, right? Or A squared will tell you the number of of um, of paths, right, that 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 um, exist of length two. So oh, let's just get to it. Okay, hold on. So so let's take a look at this, right? So when you do matrix multiplication, right? So here's the adjacency matrix from before, right? And we're multiplying it by itself. The way that I sort of think of it is like you're taking you're taking this guy over here, taking uh, you're taking this guy, and you're just sort of like shooping him up and and on his side, and then you're kind of like slotting it through the um, the other matrix, right, one by one. So then first you do you do this times this, and then that fills this uh, that does or that fills right here, and then you do, here I'll just highlight them, right? And then you do this, nope. Then you do this times this, and that fills this, and then you do this times this, and that fills this, and then you do this times this, and that fills this, right? So it sort of goes like that. And then you start from the top again, and then you, you start doing this line. And then this line times this, this line times that, this line times that, this line times that, and, and then that fills bum, 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 bum. Right. Okay. So you like. That's that's sort of how I think of it anyway. Okay. Let me get rid of this highlighter. So basically, the way that I'm thinking about this whole like adjacency matrix squared and cubed and blah 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 is that we're thinking of. So like, let's look at just this first row, I mean, sorry, this first column right over here, right? So this is the column for node one, where we're, where it's saying what nodes is node one is um, connected to, right? So node one is connected only to node three, right? And when we do the matrix multiplication, right? So this is this is sort of the first line that's, uh, that's coming up, right? Is uh, we're multiplying node one first, by by this row over here, and we know we know that this row also represents node one, but when we're doing this multiplication, like think of it in terms of like your node one, right? So you're node one, and you're saying I'm connected to node three, right? Now I'm being multiplied. In this row, 
we're saying, all right, I'm connected to node three. Node three, are you connected to anyone, right? Because we're also thinking of this as node one, node two, node three, right? Node three is saying, yep, I'm connected to someone, right? So then in this, and then, then in, in the answer right over here, right, we're going to put a one, right? Because it's going to be the sum of linkages, right? So, so node one is saying, hey, I'm node one. Node, uh, so I'm node one. My only sort of like, um, like connection is node three. So all of these are zeros, right? So it doesn't matter what these terms are anyway. But I'm saying, hey, look, I've got a connection with node three. When I multiply it, node three, are you connected to anybody? So then this will tell us if node one and three is a continuous path, right? Node one, node one, two, node three, if they're both, if this is a one and this is a one, then that means this is a continuous path, right? Same thing goes for the next line. Right, so then this this line again is getting multiplied now by this guy, right? So now I'm saying node one. So I'm node one. Hey, I'm connected to node three. Node three, are you connected to anyone? And then yeah, node one is saying again, yes, I'm connected to someone, right? So this is, again is a one over here. In this case, the person who it's connected to, right? Node three over here is saying, yeah, I'm connected. I'm connected to node one. In this line, it's saying node three is saying, yeah, I'm connected. I'm connected to node two, right? Next line will go down. Here we'll have one one zero one, right? So then when we multiply this, we'll get um, we'll get zero, right? Because we're saying, hey, in this line we're saying, hey, I'm node one. I'm connected to node three. Node three, are you connected to anyone? And it's saying, uh, no, um, cause, uh, cause, why? Good question. Oh yeah, cause it's saying node three. Are you connected to um? Oh, yeah, it's saying, hey, node 3, are you connected to node 3? Um, and node 3 is saying no. Right. So here we're saying, hey, I'm connected to node 1. Node 1, are you connected to, or sorry, node 1 was saying, wow, I should re-record this. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it and restart over here. So here what we're saying is, I'm node 1, and I'm connected to node 3. When we multiply over here, we're asking, hey, node three, are you connected to node one? Right? So this is node one, node two, node three, node four. Are you connected to node one? Yes, I am. One. Second line, I'm node one and I'm connected to node three. Node three, are you connected to node two? Yes. One. Hey, I'm node one, and I'm connected to node three. Node three, are you connected to node three? No, I'm not. Zero. Node. Hey, I'm node one. I'm connected to node three. Node three, are you connected to node four? Yes. One. Boom. We got one line down. All right. Now, second thing goes for for this line, right? For node two. Node two asks all the same questions. Node two is connected to node three, right? So I'm node two. Node two, or and I'm node two, and I'm connected to node three. Node three, are you connected to node one? Yes. Blah, 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 blah. We'll get the same answers over here. Oh, I mismatched my, I should keep these consistent. Right? Node three is the interesting case here. What happens here? So when we get to this line of the multiplication, we're saying, hey, I'm node three. I'm connected to node ones, two, and four, right? We move over to here and we do our multiplication. So nodes one, nodes one, two, and four. Are you connected to node one? No, none of them are, right? Zero. Nodes one, two, and four. Are you connected to node two? No, none of them are. Nodes one, two, and four. Are you connected to node three? Oh, yes, they are. All three of them are, in fact, right? So node one has a one, node two has a one, and node four has a one. So here we get a three. And then finally, node four, are you connected to, no uh, sorry, uh, nodes one, two, and four, are you connected to node four? None of them are. Zero. And when we do this last line of multiplication, since this is the same as since this is the same as these guys, we'll get the same thing. So this will also be a one, one, zero, one. And what we get this here is this is a squared. Is this line of I don't know why I turned Russian there for a second. 
this matrix which is telling us the connections like all of the all of the single like connections like this all of the path to so one is connected to how does this work oh yeah so one is connected to one by way of node three one is connected to two by way of node three one is not connected to three three by way of three, right? Like if it's going through three, it can't end up at three with a path of two, right? So that's a zero because three isn't connected to itself in this in this graph at least, right? And one can get to four by way of node uh, or by way of node three, right? And what this three over here is telling us is that node three can get back to node three in three different ways. Right, so node one, so following a path of length two, node one can't get to, to, or sorry, node three can't get to node one, node three can't get to node two, and it can't get to node four, right? Not with a path of two, but it can get back to three, right? Node three can get back to three with a path of length two in three different ways. And we see that that's evident from, from the chart, right? Because it can go like this, one, two, one, two, one, two, three different ways, right? So it all it all follows. Okay, I don't know. That's that's sort of what I was just getting at here, right? And and obviously the pattern follows if you do if you do a three and a four and so on up to a n, right? You keep getting, you know, different path lengths. Same idea. I hope that makes sense. I don't know. I know that was scattered and all over the place, but that's what makes sense to me. So I just kind of wanted to write it down, and just have a a memory of it, you know. So that if in the future I ever forget how I did it or why it, this made sense, I have this. All right, that's it. Bye.